Hello guys, Duran slash Lawrence Wayne here, and I know it's been extremely long since I've recorded a video. Uh, lots of problems have been going on and stuff. Firstly, I have exams. That's been a big problem. Uh, secondly, my windows kind of got a little corrupt and stuff. Long story on how that happened. Uh, basically, I had to reinstall Windows. I'm now running Windows 8.1 at least. So that's cool. And so I had to download all my stuff again. I had to download Audacity, download Minecraft, download graphics drivers. All that took pretty long. Luckily, I do still have my world, of course, and uh, all my documentation. Yeah, I needed to download Microsoft Office as well, because I've got massive spreadsheets and stuff that I need to open in order to actually work on this thing because I can't work on it without it, and um, Mario Kart 8 as well, yeah. But mostly exams has been slowing me down and trying to fix all that as well. So uh, this is a program that I've created to show you some new stuff. Uh, this basically will render a number onto the display, because a lot of people have been asking if you can draw text or display numbers on the screen, and technically you can't. However, this program allows you to. So, um, let me just enter a number. I'm just going to enter a pretty large number. 1, 2, 9, 8, 8, 8, 1, 6. There. That's a pretty interesting number because that is the number of different ways you can cover an 8x8 eight eight square with 32 1 by 2 dominoes." Unquote from Wikipedia. <laughs> All the random facts. There's your random fact for the day. So yeah, uh, I give you that number and it will basically render that number backwards on the display. So I'll just wait for the first digit, which is going to be a 6, but it's the last digit. It's going to render the last digit first due to how it works. So it'll start rendering it there. There we go. There's the 6. The next number it'll render is a 1, then an 8, another 8, another 8, a 9, a 2, and a 1. Now this one will take pretty long because it has to go through all the numbers. It checks, is it a 1? No. Is it a 2? No. Is it a 3? Is it a 4? Is it a 5? Is it a 6? Is it a 7? Is it an 8? Yes, it is an 8, and an 8, of course, has the most segments on this display as well, so that would take a while as well. There's the 1. So yeah, I'm just going to let that run. Meanwhile, I'll show you some of the new features. So this program is pretty massive because it has every single number, 1 to 9 and 0. It's all hard-coded in program memory, so program memory has been expanded. Uh, it's been doubled. So this is address 128 now, that's address 127, no, oh, hold on, yeah, I've kind of did these backwards, ignore that, 129, 130, 131, all the way up to 255 or 256, I'm not quite sure I remember which one it was, uh, 254, that means 255 addresses because there's a zero as well. Um, a slight fault in my automatic command block generator calls that. These two command blocks being in reverse and there no, not being a 255 entry. Um, so yeah, that allows you to make massive programs. Should be able to see the, uh, where's the pointer? There it is. See, just jumping every once in a while. Because that's the if checking. It'll jump all the way over there and then it'll jump over there, and then it'll jump over here, I think. There we go. As you can see, that's already the new memory, because this memory wouldn't be accessible. This this memory would be split over these two floors, so I'm already using, using this memory, and I think it's found it, so it's probably jumped back somewhere here. Yeah, there it is. So yeah, that's kind of new. Uh, I might do that with RAM as well, but RAM's a little different because of it ha has a write signal as well, which might be a bit more difficult to port. Uh, other than that, also some finishing touches. Um, the what's it? 
He... Oh no, I won't be able to see this one. Full RAM, full RAM. We have non-volatile memory. Supported now. Here we are. Non-vol RAM. It was actually supported in the data sheets and stuff, but I never actually implemented it myself yet. Now I finally have... It doesn't actually work yet, probably, though. <laughs> the scoreboard doesn't exist, but that would just be a single command. I'm too lazy to type it. So, yeah, that's some extreme laziness. Um, frame buffer is now optional. Right now, the program was actually running with the frame buffer off, as you could see, because every single frame would display manually oh, as soon as it was done. Um, this is intentional. The frame buffer can now be turned on and off. It's automatically off, I believe, for ease of use. So that'll make your programs faster if you don't want to use the frame buffer. But if you do want to use the frame buffer, your programs will look nicer. So, yeah, you can just turn it off and it'll automatically turn on. But you need to manually turn it off. There you go, it's already rendered those three eights. What's it gonna render next? A nine. That's gonna take the longest. Eh. Uh, what else is there that's new? Um, yeah, I'm documenting it. The processor, I mean. It's gonna take quite a while. It's basically preparing it for release. It's, it's practically done. There's a whole lot of bugs I need to fix. There's one bug that I've known since the very beginning that I've built this GPU, but I haven't bothered to fix it. It's basically, if you draw a full, like a rectangle or something, and then you try to draw a point, like a single point, it'll get confused and draw something in between that, like a point, but it's still half of the other rectangles still there. It's confusing to explain why that works. It's actually a simple fix, but I haven't bothered to fix it as well. See, I'm, like, lazy to fix certain things, yet I'm not lazy to when it comes to building the actual computer. So yeah, it just needs to render the one, and then it's done. So yeah, I'm writing a massive manual. Let's see how many words that. It's 12 pages and 3,706 words right now, and counting. This is just documenting the programming language and stuff. This is taking ages, and it is especially annoying because with exams, I'm writing so many essays for like English, for Afrikaans, for business. And then I have to write this essay of a documentation system as well. So there we are. Let's render the big number. It of course took extremely long, but uh, it doesn't matter because you got the big can display numbers on it now. So yeah, this takes up a whole lot of memory, so it's probably not very practical. You could just print it out to text, which you can still do, by the way with this command over here. Let's let's execute it right now, let's see what happens. Print zero. <laughs> I don't know how that exactly works. Oops, I accidentally set the computer back in motion. It's running again. <laughs> I forgot. That's how the stack system works. I need to turn it. Yeah, this thing still thinks it's off. Just there. Alright, so um that's it I guess. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for... Is it still running? Oh my god. <laughs> Turn off! Off! Stop! Running! Stop it! There. <laughs> that off button's a little broken because it's convinced it's already off. But it was... Yeah. That's what happens if you try and mess with the system. So... <laughs> Again, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, especially my random panic attack at trying to stop this computer. Um, comment, rate, subscribe, I don't know. And uh, I hope to try and make videos a little more regularly, but I don't know how that's going to go with exams. So, um, it's almost done. You can almost download it for yourself. So close. <laughs> Bye.